Hey gang and welcome to this series in which we're going to build a website with Next.js and Contentful. Now, just really quickly before we start the tutorial, for those of you who want to support the channel and join the gang officially, you can do it by clicking that join button right here. It's just 99 cents or pence per month and you get these cool little ninja loyalty badges next to your name in the comments down below when you leave a comment. You can also join by clicking the button right beneath the video if you're watching one now, which I'm guessing you are, it does exactly the same thing. All right, so now that's out of the way, let's get on with the tutorial. All right then, so in this tutorial series, I'm gonna show you how to make a website with Next.js and also Contentful, which is a headless CMS. Now we're gonna learn more about what a headless CMS is later on, but basically it's just a CMS, a content management system without the front end templating system. And they can be used by site authors or publishers to create content like blog posts, which we can then pull into our websites using Next.js. Now, this is not going to be a complete beginner's course about Next.js. I do assume you already understand at least the very basics of it already. How to set up a Next site, create pages and components, and also how to use functions like get static props to fetch data. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, definitely check out my Next.js crash course right here on YouTube. First of all, I go through all of that there and then come back to this course right here. So the link to this is gonna be down below. So the website we're gonna be building in this series is this one, Just Add Marmite. And basically this is just a Marmite recipe website. So the homepage lists all of the different recipes and you can click on each one for details about that recipe. And by the way, this video is in no way sponsored by Marmite. I just love it that much. I wanted to spread the joy, but Marmite employees, if you're out there watching this, and you wanna send me some free product samples, then I'd be very happy to receive them. Now, all the data for that website is coming from Contentful, which is the headless CMS I mentioned earlier. So I've got it open right here, and you can see that I've got five recipes listed, and each one has its own content, which I can edit if I click on one. You can see we have a title, a slug, we have a thumbnail, featured image, some ingredients, some details, etc. So we can edit that content, and also I can add new recipes by clicking this button, right over here. And when I do that, when I either edit the content or add a new recipe, our website is gonna be updated to reflect that change. Now, to accomplish this, we're gonna be learning about incremental static regeneration in Next.js, and we'll also learn about deploy hooks too, so our site can be rebuilt on the fly in reaction to certain triggers like content changes here in Contentful. For now though, let's get up and running by creating our next application. So to get us up and running, I've created a starter site template for us to begin with, which just includes a couple of blank pages, a layout file, and some basic global styles, just so we don't have to write all of that boring stuff from scratch. And you can find this starter site on this repo, next-contentful. The link to this is gonna be down below in the description. And you wanna select this branch, lesson one starter site. So once you've selected that branch, you need to copy this URL in the address bar at the top, and then open up a terminal and navigate to the directory you wanna create this project in. And then we use npx create hyphen next hyphen app, just like we create a normal blank next application. And then we give this project a name. I'm gonna call this just add Marmite, which is the site name. And then we say hyphen E, and that means we're gonna use an example starter site. And then we paste in the URL of the repo and the branch. So once you've done that, press enter and it's gonna generate this starter site for us. Okay, so once that's done, I'm gonna CD into the new project directory, which is just add Marmite, like so. And I'm gonna open this up in VS Code. And to do that, I can type code and then full stop, press enter, and it's gonna open this up in VS Code over here. All right then, so this is our starter project. Okay, so let me first of all just zoom in a little bit so we can see this more clearly. And I'm just going to run through these files that we have. So 
inside the pages folder we have the index page right here and like I said this is a dead simple starter file and as you can see there's next to no content in this page whatsoever it just has a div with this class and then this text as well so that's the home page at the minute we also have inside recipes this slug page and remember when we use square brackets in next that denotes kind of like a wrap parameter something that might change so essentially that's going to be the name of the recipe in slug format so since since this is in the recipes folder the URL or the route for this is going to be forward slash recipes and then forward slash whatever the slug is and again at the minute this is just a very simple component that says recipe details so inside the components folder we also have a layout component and this component surrounds all of our other page components I'm going to show you how it does that in a second but basically this layout component has a div with a class of layouts it has a header at the top and inside that we have a link and we import the link component at the top from next and inside that link we have an anchor tag an h1 which is the title just add marmite and then an h2 below that spread the joy and then down here we have the page content where we output the page content I'll explain this in a second and then at the bottom a footer so this children thing right here, this represents whatever page component that we're viewing and we access that via the props object. Now the reason we get that is because we use this layout component inside the root app component. So this my app component, this is the root component of the whole website. We take our layout component, which we just saw, and we surround this thing right here. And this component component right here is where our page component gets injected. And this represents the children prop that we saw over here. So whatever page we're on, the children prop represents that and we output that right here okay again if any of this is going over your head and you're not sure what I'm talking about definitely check out my next JS crash course right here on YouTube first of all this will all make much more sense then I remember the link to that is down below so anyway that's the basic setup of the application we also have some global styles right here I'm not going to go into detail with all of these styles because this is not a CSS course and they are very basic styles but we do import a Google font at the top which is Roboto and we apply that in the body we also give this a font size of 1.5 M's to increase it and give the background a color of yellow and then the rest is just to do with the layout a bit of flex box you can go through these if you really want it so these styles are imported into the root component right here so that they can be applied and let's now try previewing this in a browser so to do that we say npm run dev to spin up that local development server and then when it's done that we can see this is the address we need so I'm going to control click that to open it up in a browser and it's over here woohoo so this is the starter project so as you can see we just have this layout which is this title at the top which is a link to the home page and then this footer remember this is the home page content inside the index.js file and if we go to forward slash recipes forward slash some kind of slug so abc for example doesn't matter what that value is we get the recipe details page so i could add any old junk over here and we're still going to get this component because this is still a slug right this is a variable part of the url so that's the starter site up and running Next, we're going to talk about Contentful and set up a Contentful model for our recipes.